so uh hello guys how are you so today uh we will see uh how to uh pass the data via query parameter to the azure functions so today's lecture we will uh, create one simple function and that simple function we will pass some data uh like via query parameters so this is uh, uh yesterday we have created one sample applications sample demo applications so in sample in this application, we will create another API called as a, like a get employee names. Okay. So I will change the function name called as a get employee name. And I will uh, change the name here also. And the routing mechanism also we will change. And uh, see here, we need to, our requirement is uh, like need to pass some data via query parameters. So how, how Azure functions, it should be accept the query parameters okay so here inside the request data uh, like next lecture we will uh, uh, see like how to use this uh, http request data if i am passing the whole model uh, from the client applications okay now our requirement like today's lecture we will see how to pass the data via query parameters from client to the servers okay so here i will create a one parameter called as a string name okay this is the our login mechanisms i will keep uh, same this login mechanism so i will uh, remove this uh, by default mechanism no required to the uh, uh, like uh, content types so now like whatever we are receiving that that parameters like a string parameters okay so i will uh, create here like a simple string welcome to sorry a uh, string message is equal to welcome to azure function okay and i will append the name okay so like uh, uh, whatever like we are passing the data from the that particular parameter so it's appending to that message like welcome to azure function show up if i am passing the show up then message will be uh, returning as a welcome to azure function show up okay and i will uh, pass this message to our response object how we can uh, pass this message to our response object here like you can see uh, see here a response dot write json async okay so we will use the uh, json async like whenever we are uh, returning the response it should be return the data in the json format only okay and here we have the like two parameter called as first parameter called as the our actual data and the second uh, parameter called as the uh, return types, uh, sorry, uh, response codes. So if it's okay, then we can uh, pass the HTTP uh, status code, code, code as a okay. If it's a bad request, we will uh, pass the bad request. If it's a no content, we will pass the no content. Okay. So now we have written, now we have appending this message and the status code to the uh, JSON format. And this JSON format, we are appending to the request object. And we are returning the re uh, response as a object because here in the HTTP response data is our return type of that particular functions. So simple, uh, we have written this API and we are passing one parameter, query parameter code as a name. So you can see this is the basic syntax for the Azure function to pass the query parameter and uh, return the same data uh, based on the query parameters. Now, next step, we will uh, run the uh, Azure storage emulator uh, to see the uh, output of that application. Now, for this lecture, I will uh, show how to debug the Azure functions also. So I will uh, erase share the screen i will share the azure function postman okay see here uh, our azure storage emulator will be running here the, in the console applications okay so this is our first uh, url like uh, for the first lecture we have 
given a basic sample demo application and a gate name API. Now we are create another API name called as a gate employee name and that API we are passing the one query parameter called as a name. So how we can access this URL uh, via Postman's because uh, I have not a client application is ready for time being, I will go I will uh, see this is a working or not working. So here I will pass this uh, parameter, uh, URL parameter, uh, get employee name. I have create a new collection Azure function series and the get employee name, this is my request names. So uh, this is my URL, HTTP, localhost, this is my port number, API, sample demo, and the get employee name. Now I need to pass the query parameters. So I have click on the parameter sections and I, I am putting the name uh, and the uh, X value is a uh, Saurabh. Okay. Now I have already uh, putting the debugger point here. Uh, console Azure, M Azure emulator is running. Now I will hit the our Postman API with the, that particular query parameter. See that debugger point is set to that particular gate employee name. And we'll see here inside the name, we uh, value is coming called as a Saurabh. Now I will uh, debug this application with the F10 line by line. So here we have putting the log mechanism. We are creating a response object. And then we are put creating uh, some message, welcome to Azure function, colon and the uh, Saurabh. And we are returning uh, this uh, whole message as a JSON format to the client applications. And now we are returning the response. If you see here in the postman, in the body, a response body, uh, it's returning the uh, JSON format, welcome to Azure function colon, and then these values we are passing the Saurabh. It's appending here in the Saurabh. And then another thing is like here status code will be returning a 200. And we, here we are uh, recording the like a 39.70 second because uh, we have set the debugger point and uh, we have executing the line by line. It's, that's why it's taking the 39 seconds. Okay, so these are the basic syntax to pass the query parameter in the Azure functions. So uh, next lectures, we will see how to pass the whole models. Like I need to pass the, like my name, mobile number or email ID uh, and uh, like address, first name, last name, like whole model, how to pass in the Azure functions. Now let's, uh, uh, if I'm like uh, passing the another parameters also, for example, I need to pass another parameter. So same way, you, you, you need to create another parameter called as like a mobile. And I will uh, here like appending a mobile also. Okay. I will put space and uh, uh, welcome to Azure function. Name is equal to this one and uh, mobile is equal to this one. Now we are, we are passing the two parameters. So same way like uh, you can pass the multiple parameters, but uh, as per the core quality checks, you should uh, pass the minimum uh, data via query uh, parameters. It should be like uh, client visibility. So you can pass the security data like encryption and the decryption format way. Now we will uh, rerun the application again. Uh, see like, um, I will stop first uh, emulator and uh, I will rerun the application again. So our uh, emulator will be starting. Yes. Uh, I will share the screen. So hope uh, this is our emulator and the same URL, but uh, already we have configured and I will create, uh, I will pass another parameter called as a mobile and I will put my mobile number here, 9096-74-777-6. And 
this is uh, our previous response welcome to azure function and the up now it should be a uh, different uh, response after hitting the api now debugger point coming here like if you see here the value coming inside the name as a server up and the mobile coming as a my mobile numbers if i am creating a this message message it should be like welcome to azure function name server up and the mobile this is the my mobile and i am returning the response so see here the like for response will be different like uh, welcome to azure function name server up mobile number this this and the response status code is a uh, 200 so this is a simple way uh, to pass the query parameters, uh, multiple query parameters to Azure functions. Okay. So uh, if, for example, if you are passing uh, this, uh, accessing this URL, uh, Angular application or the React applications, so you can pass uh, this way, like uh, uh, API name, question mark, name, this is my first parameters. And then uh, if, if you have another parameter, you can use the and operator to appending the another parameters. Suppose I have created another parameters, then I will put here and operator and uh, like add 